Tonight, Anaheim police say after an all-night investigation, it appears it was counter-demonstrators who actually initiated the violence at yesterday's KKK protest. KCOM Line's Erica Nachlin tells us what police say happened. Video shows the violence during a planned KKK rally in Anaheim Saturday between Klan members and counter-protesters. Anaheim police originally arrested a dozen people, including members of both groups, but Sunday police said the five Klan members were released because they acted in self-defense. <laughs> police now say video like this and other evidence show protesters beating and even chasing down the Klansmen. While they first said the KKK used knives and a flagpole to stab protesters, investigators later said one Klan member with one knife is responsible for three stabbings. And again, police believe it was self-defense. Despite the change in tone from police, community activist Reverend James Stern is calling on the U.S. and California attorneys general to prosecute the KKK. We know for a long history of time that everywhere the KKK mobilized, they bring about violence. You don't bring a knife to a peaceful rally. He says the KKK or any other organized hate group should be indicted under a federal law called the RICO Act, designed to combat organized crime and has been used in the past against L.A. gangs. If it's not done, it's, it's another form of racist of justice for one group and not for the other. James Stern is now planning a rally and news conference on Monday in Beverly Hills, asking all races to come together against the KKK. As for the violence Saturday, the district attorney still needs to review the police findings. Erica Nachlin, KCAL 9 News.